it is entirely understandable that there is much cynicism in Britain these days. The failure of the establishment to provide adequate answers to the country's problems, as well as scandals, corruption, economic issues, lack of trust, have all helped to sap faith in Britain and to engender feelings of indifference and worse. But I would urge everyone to look at the bigger picture. I look at Britain and see a country of many peoples with distinct cultures and different ways of doing things, but nevertheless bound together as one, much like America. I look at the vast expanse of Britain, from the Welsh valleys, to the green and pleasant land of England, to the Scottish Highlands and Northern Ireland's Giant's Causeway, and take wonder in the beauty of one land in the visible. I look at the radiance of the UK's great cities, from Glasgow to Manchester, Belfast to Inverness, from Aberdeen to Cardiff, Liverpool to Southampton, and from Birmingham to Edinburgh to London, and remain in awe of these places that are the engines of Britain's prosperity. I remain fascinated by the great ocean liners built by Britain, as well as its cultural exports such as James Bond, The Beatles, and Harry Potter. I take stock of its many other contributions such as beating back the forces of tyranny, developing democracy and social welfare, leading the world in the industrial revolution, providing aid to countries, building the world's largest empire, and playing a significant role in world affairs with its tremendous global influence. I view its venerable institutions such as the NHS, the monarchy, the BBC, Parliament, and the armed forces and see how they, for all of their shortcomings, provide the glue that underpin British society and bind the British people together. I see all of these things and think to myself, what a wonderful country, this sceptered isle, or rather isles, these isles of wonder which are so beautifully portrayed by Danny Boyle at the Olympics nearly three years ago. I cannot help but to have admiration for what Britain has done in the past, and as the games themselves so dynamically displayed, have hope for what Britain can do in the future, both at home and abroad. There are issues with Britain, many of them, and many of us wonder if the country is capable of solving them and surviving them. However, it has seen and been through worse times, and I believe it and its people will survive these trying times. From a solid foundation built over hundreds of years, the country has much potential for a more dynamic, hopeful, and united future together. Britain is not broken. It is not finished. There is nothing wrong with Britain that cannot be righted by what's good about Britain. Nothing wrong with Britain that cannot be fixed by the British people as a whole from Shetland to Land's End. Be Britain still to Britain true, among ourselves united. So long as people feel that way, 
there will always be a united kingdom.